Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 86 rated foot birthday Riyad Mahrez. So if you're going to go and pick this card up and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 21,000 to 400,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So looking at some of his in-game stats now, as you can see in the pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and some of the physical categories, he does have dark greens and light greens. In the defending and the strength and aggression wise, it isn't as good. You know, you got the dark um, red in the aggression and dark red all in the defending stats, but you're not really going to be using this card with defending anyway. So guys, this has been the stats, now let's get into the highlights. So getting into the highlights now, we're going to start off with Mahrez's pros. Now the first pro I could find on this card was his agility. Now Mahrez's agility is absolutely insane, he's one of the most agile players on the whole of FIFA 18 and that's why he's also one of the best scalers as well. Um, agility in my opinion is the most important stat when it comes down to scaling. So after that the next pro I could find on this card was his dribbling. Now the next pro sort of goes into it as well and that's his ball control. You know this guy just keeps the ball so close to his feet, it's so hard to dispossess when he's dribbling at full speed and also performing the skill moves. Um, just because you know the agility is performing this gun move so quickly then he's got the dribbling so the ball's really close to his feet and then he's also got the ball control so you know you put all those three things together and you've got an absolutely insane skiller and that's why Mahrez is just an insane insane skiller and I would recommend you know if you're looking to get into scaling this is probably the best card to start off with just because he is so cheap and so good for scaling with so then moving into the cons now, the first con I could find with Mahrez was his strength. Now this guy is extremely weak as you would have saw earlier um, from looking at the strength and the aggression um, in-game stats. You know, really weak, gets pushed off the ball quite a lot but can be annoying at times. Um, but as long as you know you can do the skill moves or use his dribbling to get out of the uh, tackle in time then you should be alright. And then moving into the next con now, what is his weak foot? Now this guy does have a 3 star weak foot but it is honestly terrible. Um, it feels very similar to Di Maria's weak foot, you know, he's got a two star, well, Di Maria has a two star weak foot, and then Mahrez has a three star weak foot, but there isn't really much of a difference between their weak foots, you know, they're both really, really bad, so you're not going to be able to really do too much on his weak foot, he gets a decent goal there though, on his weak foot after the nice Balassi flick. So now moving into the work rates, as you can see he's got medium medium work rates, what isn't bad but isn't really the best, um, high medium or high low would be preferable just because you know he's an attacking player so you want him to have those high attacking work rates. So guys this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview, we're going to start off with the value for coins. Now I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 just because I feel like he's around 100,000 coins, what in my opinion is a very good price for the card you are getting, and especially because he has changed from a right mid to a centre forward. Enjoyment wise, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. This card was so enjoyable to use, um, really fun, you know, because of how good he is at scaling, and just overall a really fun and enjoyable card to use, and I'll definitely recommend to try this card out if you haven't already. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. I feel like you could use this card in foot champs but it would be pretty hard you know just because of the weak foot and how weak he is scaling wise i'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10 this card was really good for scaling and hands down one of the best scalers on fifa 18 and then i'm gonna give him an overall rating of a 9 out of 10 and if you wonder why my voice sounds a little bit weird today it's because i've got a bit of a blocked up nose and a bit of a cold so you know i'm pretty out of breath you know doing the voiceover but anyway guys this has been the player review if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time